Hi conservation crew and welcome to another Nature Diaries. So today's a bit of a special one in the next couple of days because we have come over to Wiltshire, um, which is Dorset Way if you didn't know, um, for a little holiday. So we've booked ourselves a little yurt and um, I will show that to you later, but we can't check in until three o'clock and it's currently midday. We've been typical Brits and come out at the wrong time and it is absolutely stonking hot but we've come to Coombe Bissett Down to have a little walk and a bit of a nature adventure before we head over to our accommodation. So join us and enjoy nature. Little update, I'm just being a moron. Apparently Wiltshire and Dorset are completely different counties. So we're in Wiltshire. Sorry. Just saw a goldfinch. It's like they know we're here. In just 100 meters, Stu has spotted four different species of butterfly already. So it's looking good so far for nature. It is so hot. I mean, it's our own fault for arriving here at 12 o'clock in the afternoon and there's like no tree cover here and I'm already going cherry red characteristic of Laura always go bright red but I hope you guys when you're out and about you're um you're dressing correctly for the elements so although it may not be raining you can still get uncomfortable in this heat so make sure you're wearing your reef safe sun cream and your cap even like, you could always take a brolly if you wanted to keep the sun off you as well. There's plenty of things we can do to protect ourselves so we can enjoy nature for longer. So we're currently on land managed by Wiltshire Wildlife Trust, but it's also farmland and you can just see where the grazing animals have helped create these meadows with lots of wildflowers. Now we've already seen lots of butterflies. We've seen gatekeepers, meadow browns, small whites, red admirals, and that's just a few of them, but it's really well managed with lots and lots of wildlife. So you can tell that these meadows have really done a really good job, like the farmer, whoever owns this, this field or these fields adjacent to each other, he's done a really good job by letting the the grazing creates some flower meadows here because not only is there like a vast array of different species of wildflowers and plants but you can just hear I don't know if you're able to pick that up I'm not sure my microphone's good enough but there are so many crickets and grasshoppers you can hear them all singing and then we've got several different species of butterfly I've seen plenty of bumblebees so it's just the ideal circumstance for other animals, like bigger animals, like birds and reptiles and mammals to come in and start feeding and pollination. All those good things that we love about wildlife and biodiversity starts with good land management. I'm always missing out. While I was just filming that last little bit, Stu saw a deer in the middle of the day. Apparently it was quite tall, it might have been a roe deer. So I'm a bit jealous now that I didn't see that. We've just come into a different field and it's really like reptile healthy here. It looks like a reptile kind of place to hang out. So Stu's automatically gone on the wild looking for adders and common lizards and things. You never know, we might find something. 
seen lots of uh, evidence of animals but I think it's just too hot to see anything more than the uh, butterflies we saw a deer having a bit of shade but there's loads of rabbit evidence of rabbits including a big warren on the hill in the background when you get close up you can see lots of entrances and uh, lots of rabbit droppings as well but they're all taking a little s uh, sleep and a bit of shade from the sun and I don't blame them I think the sheep's a bit hot. He's found a nice little place to chill out in the cool shade. I wish I could get in there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not enjoying this walk very much, but I think it's just got to look at my face. I'm so hot. It's like, there's no shade at all around this whole walk. It's just a loop, but it's all just kind of fields and meadows, so. I am suffering in this heat. I mean, it's midday as well, so it'd probably be a lot nicer on a cooler day. But also, I just got majorly messed up by a bramble that was on the path, and me and Stu both stood on it at the same time, but one of us picked it up and then with our feet, and then I got. It was bleeding quite a lot, and it's very sore. But I just kind of want to get in the car and put the aircon on. But um, the first thing I'm going to do when we get to our accommodation is have a cold shower and obviously I'll give you a little tour. Plenty of food for birds, lots of elderberries out at the moment. So we didn't actually see any common lizards but they are here so Stu was right. So we could tell that the, um, the meadow was really good for insects but did you know that there was over 50 different species of bee? Um, logged on this reserve. I think that's quite impressive. So we've arrived at our accommodation and that is our yurt. I will give you guys a tour in a bit but it is so hot I can't even explain how hot it is here in Dorset. So we're just sat under like the only patch in this whole field just trying to get some coolness. I've already had a shower and I'm already sweating. I really don't cope well in these in these temperatures. I'm an autumn kind of girl. But I'll give you a tour later because it is gorgeous in there. So guys, I said that I'd give you a tour of where we're staying. So this is our gorgeous yurt in the countryside of Gillingham, Dorset. So come and have a look inside. We've got a lovely fire pit here. is this. This is nicer than most hotels and hostels I've stayed in. We've got an indoor log fire, we've got candles, we've got a really comfy bed, towels. The lady who owns this place has literally thought of everything. We've got a microwave, kettle, crockery, cutlery, lamps, even candle holders to make it really romantic. We've got a sofa, it's just so lovely and cosy and I absolutely love it. So if you want to do a bit of glamping, I would definitely suggest this place. It's called A Little Piece of Dorset and Piece is spelled P-E-A-C-E. -E. And the owners are really, really lovely. And you can even just camp here. So if you don't want to stay in the yurt and you want to just go wild, you can just pitch up a tent or bring a caravan along. So it's our gorgeous little yurt. We've even got a barbecue. So it's been a really hot and sticky day, but I hope you really enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the yurt tour. And tomorrow we're gonna go and do some more nature adventures. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you in the next video.